the second half of the day dried out just fine and Mother's Day couldn't really have asked for much better weather. A little cool along the lake because it was breezy, um, but as we head into the overnight hours, those winds will die down and I can't wait to show you the eight day stretch I have on the way. Let's just say there's lots of sunshine, comfortable temps, with a sprinkle of a little rain in there, which of course we need because we want those trees to stay green and our grass to continue to grow and our gardens to sprout. So let's go ahead and get right to it. First off, let's take a look at the skies we had today. Now we were mostly cloudy, as I said we would be. The good news was, was a lot of it was high clouds. So that sun was able to kind of push through and filter through as we went throughout the day and now as we're heading into the evening, cloud cover is thickening just a little bit. Highs today, we were anywhere from the low 60s along the lakeshore to the mid 70s further south. As I mentioned, we would see we have that northeasterly flow, so that kind of keeps those lakeshore communities just slightly cooler. Now, with that said, as we head into the next week, one, if you guys have questions about the forecast, drop a comment. I'll do my best to answer. I've mentioned before, but I can't see your comments while I'm on here. So um, if it's something that I don't cover in the video, I'll touch on it after the fact. Looking at our satellite and radar, so we do have lots of activity going on to our west out here, St. Louis, kind of creeping into Indiana and even really trying to creep into the northwest sliver of the state here in Ohio. However, that moisture is battling some particularly dry air. Look at our relative humidity. Here in Cleveland, we're only at about 30%, 35% humidity there in Toledo. So the moisture not making its way to the ground by any means. Dry air, breezy conditions, and no rain uh, has all added up to a very polleny, is that a word, polleny? Very allergy prone day. I saw pollen flying left and right through the wind as we did have breezy conditions. And well, a lot of it stuck to my car as I'm sure it did yours. So the good news is that you have several days to wash your car off these next coming days. Um, if you haven't already, the bad news is, is if you have allergies, it's likely that we're gonna continue to see these very high or high pollen reports, especially from tree and grass pollen. To our future cast, we wanna know when there might be the chance of rain, one, because it will help wash that pollen away, and also because we need to know when the umbrellas might come in handy. Well, the good news is, is majority of the week, you don't need them. The only two times that I might think uh, you would maybe need your umbrella would be late Tuesday night, which right now that chance is very small, and I have left it off the eight day forecast, but a sprinkle or two is possible. Should it become 20, 30% chance, I'll bump it up, but for right now, we're gonna keep it out of there and because I don't think it's gonna really impact most of your day. So let's go ahead and look ahead. High pressure is uh, driving the forecast today, tomorrow, most of Tuesday. There's a look as we get into Tuesday night. We're gonna see two things here. You'll notice that batch of rain in the New England states and then one in Southern Ohio that doesn't quite make its way to the lake shore. Those things will be battling it out. The frontal boundary will drop through. It is going to make us cooler on Wednesday. I think what it'll do is really just increase our cloud cover late Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning, as opposed to give us all these rain showers. Then Wednesday we're dry, we're sunny, we're cooler in the low 60s, and we don't have to worry about any umbrellas until we get to Friday evening. Now this system looks pretty similar in, as far as timing goes. Um, similar to what we saw this past Friday into Saturday. However, this will be a frontal boundary dropping through from the northwest to the southeast. So dropping our temperatures as well on Saturday. So we're gonna go from the mid 70s and upper 70s to the mid 60s Friday into Saturday. The other thing I wanna show you is our boating forecast. I know a lot of boaters are out on the water. Today we do have a small craft advisory. So if you were want to maybe get out there before the sun went down, not the best day to do it. Maybe hang out along the river. Tomorrow, however, waves will be less than two feet. Our winds will be, you know, not as strong, not as breezy, coming in out of the east at about five to 10 knots. Heading back to work tomorrow, let's see how you can plan. Early morning, you're gonna be anywhere from the mid 40s to the low 50s. It will all depend on your cloud cover. With that said, 45 to 50, kinda doesn't matter. You're gonna likely want a light jacket. You'll also want the sunglasses. I think they'll be needed majority of the day. By the afternoon, jump in about 30 to well, 25 degrees, I'd say, um, to the low and mid 70s. Here's that eight day forecast. And this is what I was so excited to show you. A lot of dry skies in there. I mentioned I'm leaving out the chance of rain on Tuesday night for now. We're gonna see if it picks up a little. And if it does, you know, then we'll, we'll adjust accordingly. But for now, it does not look like it's gonna impact your day, Tuesday nor Wednesday. 
Coolest pockets there are going to be Wednesday and Saturday. Both days, of course, are after a frontal boundary dropping through. Chance of rain, best going to be late Friday into early Saturday. It is by no means a ruiner of your weekend. You've got a decent amount of sun on Saturday afternoon. I would say the first three quarters of the day on Friday for right now look dry. Um, of course, that's still several days out, so we will keep an eye on it. More 70s than 60s. Overnight lows becoming more steady. Overall, a gorgeous week ahead. So I hope you all enjoy. I hope you all had a safe and happy Mother's Day. And um, you can tune in tonight at 10 o'clock. We will be back on air, and I will have any tweaks, changes, updates to my forecast that need to be made. You can see them there as well. Take care.